I heard you were back. Of course, I wasn't sure, since you never came to see me. I'm here now. Yes. Fashionably late, as usual. If you're after the ransom money, go check with Thorpe. He was at the scene of the crime. Money's not the problem. Philip and Alan Michael are. Oh. What did my sons do? Drink up your best brandy and mock me over the minced meat and turkey? Thanksgiving was anything but festive. Alan Michael didn't come because he and Harley have separated. Since when? Since he tried to emulate you and play God. The whole thing blew up in his face. And of course, you and Philip are blaming me. Well, Philip's too absorbed with his own problems to think about you much. Irene Thorpe was a big mistake. I warned him that he'd destroy himself. Well, apparently he won't have the chance. You got to him first. What are you talking about? Philip is at Willow Hill Cemetery. He had a nervous breakdown. Philip is an insane asylum. No. Yes, Alan. All thanks to your spiteful hoax to break up his relationship with Blake. Well, it worked. Philip attacked Blake for withholding information on Beth and tried to kill her. And she had him committed. Now that he knows Beth is not in her grave, he thinks she's alive. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. You can own up to what you've done. Philip knows all of that. It's too late now. Can't you see that he wants to believe that Beth is alive? That's why I had that phony coroner's report made up. To give him some peace of mind. And look what happened.